Welcome to Research Hub. Hypothesis testing is a tool for making statistical inferences about the population data. It is an analysis tool that tests assumptions and determines how likely something is within a given standard of accuracy. Hypothesis testing provides a way to verify whether the results of an experiment are valid. A null hypothesis and an alternative hypothesis are set up before performing the hypothesis testing. This helps to arrive at a conclusion regarding the sample obtained from the population. In this video, we will learn more about hypothesis testing, its types, steps to perform the testing, and associated examples. So, first, what is hypothesis testing in statistics? Hypothesis testing uses sample data from the population to draw useful conclusions regarding the population probability distribution. It tests an assumption made about the data using different types of hypothesis testing methodologies. The hypothesis testing results in either rejecting or not rejecting the null hypothesis. In other words, hypothesis testing can be defined as a statistical tool that is used to identify if the results of an experiment are meaningful or not. It involves setting up a null hypothesis and an alternative hypothesis. These two hypotheses will always be mutually exclusive. This means that if the null hypothesis is true then the alternative hypothesis is false and vice versa. An example of hypothesis testing is setting up a test to check if a new medicine works on a disease in a more efficient manner. 1. Null hypothesis The null hypothesis is a concise mathematical statement that is used to indicate that there is no difference between two possibilities. In other words, there is no difference between certain characteristics of data. This hypothesis assumes that the outcomes of an experiment are based on chance alone. Hypothesis testing is used to conclude if the null hypothesis can be rejected or not. Suppose an experiment is conducted to check if girls are shorter than boys at the age of 5. 2. Alternative hypothesis The alternative hypothesis is an alternative to the null hypothesis. It is used to show that the observations of an experiment are due to some real effect. It indicates that there is a statistical significance between two possible outcomes and can be denoted as H1 or HA. The alternative hypothesis would be that girls are shorter than boys at the age of 5. Hypothesis testing p-value In hypothesis testing, the p-value is used to indicate whether the results obtained after conducting a test are statistically significant or not. It also indicates the probability of making an error in rejecting or not rejecting the null hypothesis. This value is always a number between 0 and 1. The p-value is compared to an alpha level or significance level. The alpha level can be defined as the acceptable risk of incorrectly rejecting the null hypothesis. The alpha level is usually chosen between 1% to 5%. Hypothesis testing critical region All sets of values that lead to rejecting the null hypothesis lie in the critical region. Furthermore, the value that separates the critical region from the non-critical region is known as the critical value. Hypothesis testing formula Depending upon the type of data available and the size, different types of hypothesis testing are used to determine whether the null hypothesis can be rejected or not. The hypothesis testing formula for some important test statistics are Types of hypothesis testing Selecting the correct test for performing hypothesis testing can be confusing. These tests are used to determine a test statistic on the basis of which the null hypothesis can either be rejected or not rejected. 1. Hypothesis testing Z-test Z-test is a way of hypothesis testing that is used for a large sample size n greater than or equal to 30. It is used to determine whether there is a difference between the population mean and the sample mean when the population standard deviation is known. It can also be used to compare the mean of two samples. It is used to compute the z-test statistic. Z-test statistic. 
2. Hypothesis testing t-test. The t-test is another method of hypothesis testing that is used for a small sample size. It is also used to compare the sample mean and population mean. However, the population standard deviation is not known. Instead, the sample standard deviation is known. The mean of two samples can also be compared using the t-test. One-tailed hypothesis testing. One-tailed hypothesis testing is done when the rejection region is only in one direction. It can also be known as directional hypothesis testing because the effects can be tested in one direction only. This type of testing is further classified into the right-tailed test and left-tailed test. Right-tailed hypothesis testing. The right-tailed test is also known as the upper-tailed test. This test is used to check whether the population parameter is greater than some value. The null and alternative hypotheses for this test are H0, the population parameter is less than or equal to some value. H1, the population parameter is that some value. If the test statistic has a greater value than the critical value, then the null hypothesis is rejected. Left tailed hypothesis testing. The left tail test is also known as the lower tail test. It is used to check whether the population parameter is less than some value. The hypotheses for this hypothesis testing can be written as H0, the population parameter is greater than or equal to some value, H1. H1, the population parameter is not equal to some value. The null hypothesis is rejected if the test statistic has a value that is not equal to the critical value. Two-tailed hypothesis testing. In this hypothesis testing method, the critical region lies on both sides of the sampling distribution. It is also known as a non-directional hypothesis testing method. The two-tailed test is used when it needs to be determined if the population parameter is assumed to be different than some value. The hypotheses can be set up as H0, the population parameter equals some value. H1, the population parameter is not equal to some value. The null hypothesis is rejected if the test statistic has a value that is not equal to the critical value. Don't forget like share and subscribe my channel.